Well, we begin in India, where Australia have broken the hearts of 1.4 billion Indians on their way to a record-extending sixth ODI World Cup title. Travis Head scored a memorable century to take the Aussies to a comfortable six-wicket win over hosts India at the Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad. The loss means that India's wait for, a, for an ICC trophy since 2013 continues. Australia skipper Pat Cummins won the toss and elected to field first on a slow pitch. Rohit Sharma once again gave India a brisk start, but Shobman Gill fell early to Mitchell Stark. Virat Kohli came out with intent and smoked Stark for three back-to-back -back boundaries. Sharma and Kohli shared a stand of 46 runs before Australia dealt a double blow to the men in blue. Sharma fell for 47 in the 10th over, and three balls later, Shreyas Iyer was dismissed for four. India were on the back foot with 82 for three in 11 overs. Kohli and K. Rahul started to rebuild the innings with a stand of 67 runs. But Kohli departed soon after completing his half century. Rahul too completed his 50 but got out on 66 leaving India reeling on 203 for six in the 42nd over. The men in blue could only manage to hit two boundaries in between the 10th and the 40th over. Six Indian batters could not get into double figures as India were bowled out for the first time in this edition for 240. The Aussies came out all guns blazing and scored 15 runs in the first over, but Mohamed Shami dismissed David Warner in the very next over. Jaspreet Bumrah then got Mitchell Marsh and Stephen Smith out in his consecutive overs. Travis Head and Manas Labushain stabilized the ship and slowly took the match away from India. Head completed his half century in 58 balls with 111 runs on the board in the 22nd over. The South Pole stitched gears and raced away to his century in 95 balls. Head, who was the player of the match in the semi-finals, scored 137 runs off 120 balls before being dismissed by Mohamed Siraj. Mabushain, who played the perfect second fiddle, remained unbeaten on 58 and completed the formalities in the 43rd over along with Glenn Maxwell. All right, so Australia have uh, won the World Cup once again, and they've broken the hearts of 1.4 billion Indians on their way to a record-extending sixth ODI World Cup title. Travis Head is the man of the moment who scored a memorable century to take the Aussies to a comfortable uh, six-wicket win over hosts India at the Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad. The loss means that India's wait for an ICC trophy since 2013 still continues. We are waiting for our sports editor, Dick Vijay Singh Deo, who will be joining us shortly to tell us the mood on the ground and what the fans are saying after this match. Australia skipper Pat Cummings won the toss and elected to field first on a slow pitch. Rohit Sharma once again gave India a brisk start, but Shomad Gill fell early to Mitchell Stark. Virat Kohli came out with intent and smoked Stark. For three back-to-back -back boundaries, Sharma and Kohli shared a stand of 46 runs before Australia dealt a double blow to the men in blue. Our sports editor, Dick Vijay Singh Deo, is joining us on the line. Dick Vijay Singh Deo, what's the mood on the ground right now? I understand that uh, this is a loss for India, but still spectators are optimistic. Dig Vijay, if you can hear me, oh, that we've, we, we got you. <laughs> if you can hear me, um, what's the mood on the ground? We now understand because um, of the loss, the spectators are still optimistic. 
Yes, they are. But it's it's a lot of sadness, Eric. Uh, obviously, everyone sort of came here uh, hoping for an Indian win and that would have kicked off massive parties all over, not just Ahmedabad, but all over India as well. But it's disappointing for a lot of people. Uh, many of them I spoke to this morning. We've been here for a long time. People have come in from Hyderabad, from Bangalore. Some have even flown in from the United States as well. The Australian fans were in a complete minority at maximum maybe 100, 200 of them. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's not the best of nights if you're an Indian cricket fan. But some fans I have managed to sort of hold on to me. Not too many of them want to speak. But uh, disappointment is obviously the key word here. But uh, what do you think uh, went wrong for the team, uh, especially after they batted first? I think disappointment is, is quite an understatement. I, I, I genuinely do not want to bash the team that, that much, that frequently. But I did not feel that there was... I, I, I understand you can, you can be bundled out for 240. But I did not feel that there was a great amount of intent in the fielding as the Australians shown. Mm -hmm. like, uh, the, the way Warner went on to show the display on the field right in front of us. I mean, coming all the way from Delhi for this game, I was all excited. I, I believe that any team can win on any particular day. It's not a big deal for India to lose a game. But I didn't feel that after the first three wickets fell, we could capitalize on that and possibly, you know, somehow latch on to that kind of momentum. So that's something where we went wrong about. Okay, but but uh, sort of uh, the way Australia played, it also perhaps shows that big match mentality which Pat Cummins yesterday was talking about. He said, we haven't played well, but we don't need to be at our best to win. And perhaps that hunger which you were mentioning, that they showed in the field and, and the Indian batting sort of they stifled pretty much. Actually, me and my brother-in-law was talking yesterday only that Australia, and I, Australia is not Afghanistan or Pakistan or Sri Lanka. They are big match team. They are big match team. And But your question was something else. I want to say something else. One thing that I was feeling and I, I could hear was Dhoni, Dhoni. I know he retired Same, long ago. Same. I know he, Same, Same. I know he retired long ago. I know he's nowhere here, but everybody could feel his absence, every single one. And I'm telling you, he may not be there, he will not be there, but every time India loses or India crumbles down in pressure situation, one man will always be recognized and remembered, Mahender Singh Dhoni. But unfortunately, that's sport, right? You move on, you move on. But uh, you wanted to say something. Uh, a lot of lot of fans have come from all over. They wanted to see an Indian win. But this is sport, right? Somebody wins, somebody loses. Do you think on the day Australia showed that they just knew how to play the occasion better? Because Pat Cummins said yesterday that we are here and we know how to silence the crowd. And that's what they did. Absolutely. I think uh, the major difference between Indian and Australian team today was that Australia knows how to win big tournaments. Now, what happens with India is that when they come to a big occasion, I think what happens is that they start focusing on the outcome, right? They get very excited and they start thinking about we are going to win and everything, right? But what happens with Australia is that they focus entirely on the process. And what the man said about Dhoni is that he was excellent with the process. His whole idea was that we should not focus on the outcome. His his whole idea was we should focus on the process and I think India did not focus on the process, they were not in the match, they were pretty much excited and that is what resulted in India not winning. But it was also a great Australian performance with yeah, the ball, true. the fact that you had uh, once Rohit Sharma gave the start, you also had Kohli and Rahul at the crease and they shackled this Indian great batting Absolutely. lineup and Travis had showed you had to be a bit brave. Is that what you feel a bit let down that perhaps India could have attacked the game a bit more in that first yeah, inning? If I could add, I think I think it clearly showed that Australia has pedigree. There's something called pedigree and these are, I mean as a football fan, I would want to correlate them with the Real Madrid. They can never be underdogs in any tournament. If they've come to the finals, they never lose finals. They're absolutely one of the best teams to have ever played the game of cricket and this is I mean the fourth World Cup if I'm not wrong Six. Uh, Six. fourth uh, ICC 50 over World Cup Six. 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 I mean that's that's sensational so look you can you can say you can obviously sensationalize India and and 10 on the 10 on the trot but the occasion is what matters and of course credit to India for having come down to the finals the way they did but I think there's something that there's something that Australia showed that they, they're, a, they, they're a team with pedigree. Okay, I need to throw back to the studio but thank you so much and, and at least nice to see that uh, you've not sort of uh, uh,
final. Okay, okay. Perhaps that is something that needs to be worked yeah, upon. You need to grab like the game uh, by the scruff of its neck. Australia did that. They showed Eric why they're a champion team, and I'm calling it their greatest World Cup triumph because they started off with two losses. They didn't play their best through the tournament, but you know what? They're going back with the World Cup. Well, Dick Vijay, you said it right. You win some, you lose some. That is our sports editor, Dick Vijay Singh Deo. Thank you very much. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.